developing right now. A boat captain is behind bars. He was arrested after a pair sailing accident that killed a mom and injured two others in the Keys. Local 10's Janine Stanwood is live with what she's learned. Janine. This is a story that made national headlines. That parasail slamming into the old seven mile bridge. Tourists still strapped into the harness. Now FWC has arrested that captain. He is right now behind bars here at the Plantation Key Detention Center. Nearly four months after a horrific parasailing crash that killed a woman and badly injured a child, the boat captain, Daniel Couch, is now under arrest, facing a manslaughter charge. Video shows the out of control parasail dragging in the water off Marathon after dropping from the sky. State officials say the captain cut the line tethered to the three victims because a gust of wind blowing in the chute could have dragged the boat. Instead, 33 year old Supraja Alaparthi, her son and nephew, slammed into the old seven mile bridge. He was letting me know, help me, help me. And we got him in the boat. Good Samaritans rushing to the rescue. One boy airlifted to Nicholas Children's Hospital. But according to the arrest warrant, Couch should have known bad weather was imminent. He reportedly said his VHF radio was not turned on and didn't pay attention to a National Weather Service report and said he tried to call 911, but his phone was not working. Records show no outgoing calls. FWC top brass releasing a statement reading in part, there is no excuse for the negligence and disregard for public safety that was shown in this case. My prayers go out to the families of those involved. Couch, by the way, is still being held here on a $100,000 bond. We're in Plantation Key. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.